fucking go. Print screen. Boop. Uh, self promo. Enter. Boop. Tweet. Control V. Enter. Set custom status. Twitch.tv. Slash X quality B two. It's my bit right looking like not super hot, but it is what it is. Agreed. Noise canceling headphones are amaze balls. That's a fact. You can't compete with Jack. Alright, wait, what? I don't fucking know. I don't know. You know, you never know. Some secrets are meant to be told, but I found the cure to growing older. Give it a couple minutes, see if anyone rolls in. Officially, uh, what you get? Ouch, mouse. <laughs> Ouch, mouse. God damn it, iron. Uh, hello, Asian song. Welcome in. Good to see ya. How you doing? Doing okay. Well, okay is better than bad, I suppose. Uh, hello, merchant. Welcome in. How you doing, merchant? No, 
right, my bit rate is stable at 3.5k. Okay. It's like nobody on Twitter. Uh, I'll retweet once just in case people uh, doing okay. How about you? I'm doing all right. Didn't get a ton of great sleep last night, but eventually got some sleep, so we're living with that. Apparently nobody's on Twitter, or my tweets are being, like, hidden or something. Strange times. Well, I guess we'll get started then. And people can join in when they join in. Alright. Um... Uh, Dr. Chalk was one to speak to us. Let's go speak to Dr. Chalk was, or as I like to say, Dr. Chocolate. I just noticed Thane is on there now. Aw, Thane. Can't believe I never noticed Thane got on there. All right, Shepherd, Dr. Chakwa. Remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of cerise ice brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so indulge my impatience. Fuck it, let's drink. You grab the glasses, I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack. Jacqueline subject zero is sorry, but it's Hello me. I'll see Admiral Winky. Oh, Welcome in. You know, I Dr. Chocolates, yeah. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither have you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepherd, <laughs> hero of the Citadel, conqueror of the collectors, savior of the galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for, alive or gone. AKA, we didn't want to <laughs> figure out no how to sense. voice act all the possible names Consider one could choose. Consider the lady's prerogative, then. <laughs> Come, let's have a toast. Rebrand? Heck yeah. So Heck yeah. I'm proud to call my friend. I am lucky to have you with me, Karen. And to you, dear friend. It is my great honor to share this journey with you. Commander Shepard. And good fortune to us all. They, they should just Even do the, uh, Fallout 4 thing and have, like, a set list of possible names that they have recorded. Alright, does anyone besides Dr. Chocolate want to talk to us on here? I think we're going to go to the Citadel, because a bunch more people want to talk on the Citadel. Shepherd. Dr. Can Chungus. Hello, Jordan, welcome in. And yes, we all love Dr. Chungus. Uh... Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? Liara is still mad at us. Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when right, the Reapers no invaded. Upgrades. I think we can assume what happened. No, 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 He's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the lowest relay. Hey, Liara. Ooh, okay, she's, she's That's not as service. bitter at us. Which she has every right to be. We did, we did technically cheat on her. And by technically, I mean definitely. 
kind of no no room for uh no wiggle room there we definitely did cheat on liara i didn't i didn't know that that specific action that i chose locked me into a romance with a specialist trainer but you know it is what it is it's still a gay romance so i'm fine with it hey chef uh, Kaden, why are you still here? Let's check engineering if anyone has anything new to say. You work hard, you ship hard? True. <laughs> fucking goddamn fucking pun. It seems you believed Protheans built the mass relays. The Reapers are cunning Wee. in their deception, allowing life to flourish, century upon century, letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces, and we are their prey. You try and you try and Caden still shows up. Yeah, like, I could have killed Caden, but I'm too nice of a person. I let Caden live. Like, it's very possible to straight up just shoot and murder Caden, but I'm like, eh, I'm playing Paragon for the most part. She's not a yeoman, she's a communication specialist. And you're barking up the wrong tree, Kenneth. You're not her type. Oh, well. Perhaps you should go and talk to her then. Maybe I should. Nobody's barking up my tree. If it works out, be sure to take video. Okay, first of all, Donnelly, gross. Why'd I have to get both of you? Couldn't I have just gotten Daniels? I like Daniels. Donnelly, not as much. Anything, Commander? Carry on, Adam. Uh, aye, aye, man. Uh, not too nice of a person to cheat on Liara, though. Look. I thought it was just gonna be a fling, and we'd talk about it, and we'd be fine. I'm liking the new US Damn morality. Well, yeah. I mean, like, she I'm was sure like, I'm hey, it's been six months uh, while you were in pr uh, prison, basically. Are, do you want to continue this relationship? So, you know, I'll find a way to blame her. Yeah, that's it. What's going on? James got nothing new to say. Where's Cortez? Was Cortez over there and I just didn't see him? Yes, he was, and I just didn't see him. That would also be cheating? Yeah, but it's you know, less I cheating. I think I might hit a nightclub. There's cheating and then there's, you know, cheating. You know, they're not necessarily the same thing. Necessarily. Hello, and Gray, welcome in. Let's see if there's anything good to buy. Weapon damage, don't care. Weapon damage, don't care. Don't care, don't care. Don't care about Metagel. I've used maybe one at a time and then I get, get it back immediately. Uh Oh yeah, if any if anyone missed last night's stream, uh the pistol I'm using now, I was like legit one-shotting like everything. But what if the gay disaster were the friends we made along the way? True. Also welcome in Chimera M Machina, X Machina. Oh, no, I don't want to buy that. Um I'm just looking. Death mask. Seven Valkyrie, what is this? A rifle? Interesting.
It's so hard to be gay and correct in space. True. I don't know if this one hits harder, and I don't want to spend 88,000 in case it doesn't. Ah, uh, fuck it. We'll risk it. We'll risk the biscuit. Which hits heavier, the paladin or the eagle? Oh! That's not even close! What is this garbage? That was a waste! Ugh. I regret everything. I uh, played a bunch of Judgment today, and there's always many games in those things. See you kids the spinoff if you don't already know. I hate the baseball minigame. Anyway, I spent like an hour 100%ing the baseball game. Oof. Ouch. Owie. Oof. Ouch. Owie. Oh, I'm so mad I spent money on the fucking 7 Eagle here. I was thinking it might be good. It's, it's called the Eagle. It's named after the Desert Eagle. You'd think it'd be more powerful. Nope. Nope, it's not. It's completely optional, I'm just broken. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that makes it much worse. Alright, let's 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 blow this popsicle stand. Uh... Uh, do we want to talk to people in the Citadel first? Yeah, let's talk to people in the Citadel first, because we're going to go straight into the geth uh conflict next. So... Yeah, let's talk to some people. Clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Uh, I'm assuming Presidium Commons is going to have people. Momentarily. On the positive side, my new Bluetooth speaker, kitchen utensils, and water filter arrived today, so now complete loss. Heck yeah! That's awesome. I always love new new utensils. Uh, so Barlavon's gone forever. Ooh, Miranda! Yeah, we're going to do Miranda as well. So let's talk to Liara first. Let's talk to everybody on the Citadel first, then we'll we'll do Miranda's mission, and then we'll do the uh, Cory and Geth conflict. Stainless steel, heck yeah! I think we are is always way way over, way over yonder. Liara, there you Hello, are. Shepherd. Nice to see you. I missed this place. Nothing? Okay. Well, that was a big waste of time. Uh, speaking of, like, utensils, I need to get a nice wooden spoon again. Making, making soups and sauces and stuff. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just do Miranda now. Let's just do Miranda now. Not blow it off. Let's do Miranda now. Let's do her. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. Oh, we're not even doing her mission yet. We're just setting up for it. Um, I don't yeah. like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. Uh, yeah, I trust you, Miranda. Have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess. 
really. It's been eating away. You're in lesbians with me? Confess. Same. When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. Yeah, we know this. I think you mentioned this. Yeah. I did. There's more to it. Oh? The elusive man stopped me. You mentioned that too. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Black why box. bring that up now? I fought against my father oh, and his like no one here will get that reference. Of my life. <laughs> he wanted total control black box, of Black box. Right uh, down to my bloody DNA. In our D&D &D game, After we're using roll 20 and I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. The DM has I been having trouble with the the lighting system in it, the dynamic yeah, lighting. Second thought to destroying your free so like every time a new map would load in, we would just see a big this is black square me. instead of the map, yes. and we'd always just be Amanda, like, I lost black box. Two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. It's not funny, but it's funny in our in our group. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Now kiss. Thanks. Now kiss. But with so much being uncertain. I just kiss. wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. It's it's fine, Miranda. God, I wish you would put it. I wish you put the chip in my head and controlled me. I mean, what? I'm not horny. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me. Well, so I, that one hair, no, that one hair is driving me crazy. Okay. Like in the. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Okay, yeah, that was fine then. I thought this was the start of it, but now it's... We run across Miranda's mission later. There's a setup for it, though. Where your choices matter and what will happen ultimately. Uh, Alright, let's go. Purgatory. Well, okay, hold on. Let me see where people are. Purgatory. Edie Joker Cortez. Okay, so we definitely gotta go there. People are in the holding area. No one's in Huerta Memorial, so we don't have to go there. No one's in Citadel Embassy, so we don't have to go there. And no one's in... Well, we'll have to go there to get back into the thing. So, what did I say? Purgatory and... Holding area. Okay. Let's go Purgatory first. That's around the time I got sent this new armor. Hey, hey, it's late. And I'm not going to purgatory, right? You want to go in, or do you want to talk about my car some more? No. Okay, that's a cute little wrap up of that story. I forgot about that. Because they were talking about, like, he got attacked, like, in, in the war effort or whatever. And nearly died. So they were talking about armor, and now, now it's revealed. It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. She sold her car for it. Since we took back Omega, I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. 
Is there anything on your mind? Uh, yeah, let's talk about Omega. Building going on Omega. People understand the first order of business is showing up defenses. No one wants another invasion. So they're enduring valiantly, not that they have a choice. Once again, I am Omega. Yes, you are. We'll talk later. I'm sure. And my mommy, Dami. I mean, what? Mm. Yeah, okay, we already did that. Uh, Edie, Joker, y'all got anything to say? Me as your personal assistance map. Yeah, well, it's the only way to get you inside. But you know I am not one. Why deceive others? You don't really want to introduce yourself as an AI with Reaper-based code. They would lynch you. That would be an inefficient way to render me non-functional. <laughs> I mean, technically true. Uh, Alright, where's Cortez? I guess Cortez will have new stuff. Cortez. I'm not skinny, Elias. Since when are you so chummy with those bricks? You. What's up, Cortez? Come have a drink with me. You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And purgatory serves the best drinks. Here. Yeah, to our friend. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. Cool. All right. And then what I say, holding, holding area. Yeah. That's where we're going next. And then we're gonna get into the heavy shit. And we're going into the geth. Korean War. Status even though we told them not to do it, we told them, hey, don't start a war, the Reapers are coming. They started a war and the Reapers are coming. Now arriving at so. Emergency civilian housing. Thanks for that. Actually, these all might not even have new things, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Why go after Cerberus? Yeah, he doesn't have anything new to say. We hit the collectors. Cerberus paid the full rate of it. Retired was what I should have done. But it's time to settle down. I have so many sad stories. Kelly Chambers doesn't have anything new to say. Wait, where did it say James, say James was? Bay E28. Okay. You thought I was bluffing, didn't you? I know, I know. You don't have I to I don't say. believe it, but I'm about to make my comeback. You just gonna stand there and watch? Yes. You're kind of making me nervous, Commander. Good. I'd ask him to deal you in, but I think I'm afraid of you. Good. kind of killing my mojo here, Hefe. Good. Was up a minute ago, you just came by at a bad time. Uh-huh. Just going to stand there right. and watch. You're boring me now. Okay, that was a waste of time. All right, let's go. You okay? Anyone bothering you? No. It's not that. Oh yeah, this story is also sad. Her parents never came for her. She's like a teenager. This poor dude's been trying to like keep her like vibes up like because very evident her parents got are dead and he's trying to make her feel better
so much. That's rough, buddy. Honestly, that frickin' line from Avatar is forever ingrained in my brain. It's like the greatest line ever. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny, but I do. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Alright, let's go... Let's go deal with the Corians and Geth. Sergeant, I have a little brother. He went off-planet to try and make money. Let's go down to business to defeat... Anything new, trainer? Commander. No? Okay. Uh, index server scientists. I th think I can wait for that. So we're going all the way here. I'm gonna go speak with the Quarian. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I'd hope for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. Uh -huh. The treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Renok? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. That is more murder. That's murder. Um, the Quarians were no, wrong. It was murder. Yeah, it was murder. Commander. The Quarians never intended to create Okay, a but you AI. did. So they became sentient but you chose beings. To by trying to kill them. Yeah, you can't just kill sentient beings because it was an oopsie whoopsie. Like, oh, I smothered my but baby in the wrong, crib because uh, it was an accident. Like, what? Anyway, invading was a mistake. The Geth again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we are... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. Letting you retreat. Well, they're confused. You get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Cha, dude, do you not know who I am? Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. It's Tally, baby! Let's fucking go! Reporting for duty. Let's fucking go. About time. Already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Let's fucking go. It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. Was that Lokane? I no idea. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. No idea. 
If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. Yeah, it is we've what it is. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. Uh. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. Oh well. Mm. Woman sound I'm like... I'm ready to hit that dreadnought you are. Sh 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 show re... Show re... Show re... Hey. I don't fucking know. I can't speak languages. I can't even speak English. That person. I don't know who that is. Doctor, doctor, Peppa. Let's fucking do this. All right, what do we got? What do we got here? The migrant fleet. Okay. Also, Geth debris field and the Geth dreadnought. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Tally, heck you. Yeah. Uh, tech. So we're going to bring uh, Biotics. Uh, so you know what? Popping headshots with that was good enough. Uh, Alright, what does the most damage? Because that's all I care about. One shot everything, you know? One shot everything. Damage. You know what? Piercing damage with a shotgun doesn't sound that... Ooh, that looks badass. Like, okay, that exists. But look at that. Look at that. Also, how does that... How does that add weight? How does that add weight? It's light. Alright, whatever. Uh, you know what? It just looks badass. We're gonna add those. Uh, you're gonna get... This. You're gonna get the... Power, and you're gonna get the damage. It's fun fact, uh, weapon weight doesn't affect, uh, squad mates. So they can have the heaviest shit they want. Just looked it up, I was right on both accounts. Jordan, how do you do that? I'm pretty sure every time you're like, hey, I think I recognize that voice. Yep, I was right. I don't know how you do it. And that guy. Oh, low gain in Dragon Age. Okay, it has been a long time since I've played those uh, Dragon Age games. I have, I have not played uh, Origins or two in a long, long time. care about melee yeah we'll do that and we'll do that look at that I don't I hate the grenades I always forget the grenades exist and then cryo blast I've I've I think I've used cryo I can count the number of times I've used, used cryo blast in all three mass effects uh, on one hand <laughs> like I I don't 
I don't. <laughs> uh, Liara, you... Use two powers in a row by giving the first power a 30% chance to cause no cooldown. Or like... Mm, a little over a second off. I think a 30% chance is actually pretty good, to be honest. Coin Mechanist. Uh, power Recharge. Uh, tech power damage and duration. Do that. Do energy drain three. Sabotage. Combat drone. Defense drone. Do that. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Nope, I did not actually mean to start the mission. I was not done with that. Okay, well, it is what it is. Can just finish it the in the mission. System. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the convoys? Buoys. Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Comrade Joker? signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. We couldn't ask for a better expert. Thanks, Shadow Broker. Oh. Are you to infiltrate the Dreadnought? Indeed. Shepard, there's a problem. All tubes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. It's pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. Dun dun. There. Oh. Ooh. This is disorienting. We're having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance dreadnought. Now the question is, did they code the game so that uh, Commander Shepard is actually moving around? Or did they code it so that uh, the entire scenery is moving around? That's what I want to know. How are you doing, Shepard? The lack of gravity. 
gravity is a little disorienting. The dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Till then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. They don't they have don't windows. Have windows, remember? Structural, Structural weakness. weakness, exactly. Yeah, just sitting there saying, those organics would never try the no windows thing twice. There we go. Oh. Looks like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. Override the tr uh, controls then. Got it. You're clear to board. Chat, can we get some smiles? Are you smiles in the chat. All quiet so far. They haven't detected us yet. Here, yeah, I don't let know me if anyone's actually even still watching. <laughs> like nobody's talking. This. Feels bad, man. <laughs> there, it's open. We're clear to go. Heart pistol? Okay. Oh, you weigh so much, though. Ah, uh, we'll just stick with this for now. This why I've been working on some art. Aww, no worries, camel. Looks impressive. It's just one of those things where it's like the self doubt kicks in. It's like, is, is anyone actually even watching? That'll be handy. I know people who would pay a great deal for this design. Wait, where am I going? I'm sure it will need the money. Oh, the this way. So where are we headed? We're looking for an operations center. I can disable the lethal command center. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Interesting. Their anti-fighter lasers use ultraviolet frequencies. Most ships use infrared. Interesting. Expensive. But it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed to the dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on, let's get to the op center before they lose more. I'm enjoying your stream. Oh, thank you, Camel. Just gotta get work done. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Like, if you have stuff to do, like, I'm, I'm, that's fine. Yeah, Shepard, it's been three games, almost three years. You should know how the geth work by now. 
Like, this isn't new information. What the fuck is hitting me? I didn't intend that- No, no, Camel, you're fine. And thank you. You're fine. Like, I understand. Sensor data. Can you tell how the Quarian ships are doing? We're taking heavy losses. Like, I do the same thing a lot of times when I watch Twitch, it's so... Through our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. I don't work good sometimes. You're fine. The Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. So they're doing more the optional stuff on Judgment? Okay. my face. That's the last of them. Let's see if that console is operational. This pistol is so OP. I love it. Damn it. They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There, the Reaper signal coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level thrusters. Mm. We need something basic. A ship-wide emergency, like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got the prime. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gas on the other side of the doors. Yeah, no worries. Go pew pew pew. They're dropping down from the ceiling! They're putting cloak hunters as well! Oh, yeah, I forgot to uh, tally. Be an RB. I'll never understand integrating that completely into a system. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. 
I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Damn it. Priority message. A planetary defense cannon just took down Admiral Corus's ship. Survivors? They got to escape pods. And I've got Admiral Ross trying to establish a secure link. Put her through. Shepard, this is wrong. The heavy fleet is collapsing. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. We'll have the Reaper signal deactivated shortly, Admiral. Oh, that was, that was gutsy. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Hey, Tally, can you, can you hack that dude? Thank you. Shots coming through. Run, 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 run. Almost died. That was close. Watch your shield. Dip to cover. easy. Let's fucking go. Hopefully we're done with elevators. And come on, the drive core shouldn't be far. Tell you say that. 
yet. Here we are. Not at the drive core. Is there any goodies over here? No, okay. Our boy! It's Legion! Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. No, I trust Legion. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed. We will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Room, you said? Yes. Uh, hello, Cynthia. Welcome in. Against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and destroyed the heretics for what? Nothing? Got it. Talizora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. We have disabled the Dreadnought's Drive Core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Uh oh. Damn it, that boy! Heck yeah! Go fuck yourself, buddy! What the fuck? Transfem mother, hell yeah. Shepard Commander, the Creator fleet is firing upon 
on this vessel. Without barriers, this ship will be destroyed. We must evacuate. We need to get to the escape pods. Get to transmit intelligences via remote signal. We do not use escape pods. Suggestions? Gaff fighters are docked in the port side fire bay. We can pilot a fire to safety. Yeah, fucking boom. Shepard, you please hold fire. I repeat, hold fire. They're not responding. Damn it. Of course they're not. We have taken control of docking protocols. We'll be right there. Ow. Back with T. Heck yeah. The most important supporter is actually my nine year old Let's son. Go. Heck yeah. I'm glad you got that. Honestly, kids are some of the most frickin' greatest supporters ever. Like, yeah, kids can be little hellions, but a lot of that is product of their environment, you know? I think, I think most kids are inherently good, good little peoples. We're fine. Go! I'm a bit emotional. No worries. Just start HRT on Tuesday. Oh, happy for you. And no worries. Here, here in this dang channel, we believe in emotional vulnerability and uh, empathy and caring and sincerity. I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble. None of this. None of this. Irony, like poison, desperation. We only lost doom and gloom. Nah, we we, lost we, we support sincerity we and, fleet and vulnerability. The out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangers us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard? And Talizora. They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. You're military. You understand that. No, you're out of control, buddy. I understand that you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. The dreadnought was a perfect time. <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm gonna punch you, dude. You jeopardized your mission. And Go your fuck yourself. Over. Get the hell off my ship. Shepard. I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Hut. Admiral Corus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. It's DIY because in efforts. need of a diagnosis Thank first, you, and Ron. such takes I upwards from a year. Up. Here, the yeah. No the sarcasm is cringe, being sincerity pilled is based. Like yeah, like, since sarcasm can be fun sometimes, but... What the hell is this? Wait, wait! Uh, but, Everyone hell yeah, we also support do. DIY here. His name is Legion. DIY we is... The, based. the Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth consensus. No, Legion is a, is Legion a being. You don't get to... Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about it? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best Hello, source sexy of Persian via voice, voice over actor. Yeah. ...are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. 
You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila! I need to warn the fleet. Zen, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where is it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. <laughs> No, oh, no, my controller's doing the thing again. Yeah, see, it's working perfectly fine in photo mode. Okay, it's working fine now. So let's see what our war war assets are at. It's been a, it's been a hot second since we've checked. We've got Omega Ezo horde. Holy moly, 300! Damn, Omega's got a lot of Ezo. Uh, and shit, we even got Oleg Petrovsky. Got Rogue Fighter pilot pilots Alliance Fifth Fleet. Right, that's it actually. Edie, can you Distress clean this up? call. I will try. Ron, the Kanesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kanesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. Uh, I only can afford Estradiol right now, but not testosterone blockers. Had to make a decision. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say, uh, Astradiol was the better choice. Shepard Commander, you opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. She's done enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarians' live ships. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. Yeah, cool. Uh, Geth heretics. Back on the Dreadnought. You mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Your decision was sound. Deleting the heretics resulted well, so in your Geth allied with the uh, That word. So regret, uh, you? Because of borderline it ADHD. Ah. If we had not deleted the heretics, we would face an increased number of hostile yeah, Geth no worries. Death holds different consequences for synthetics than organics. Do you harbor regrets about deleting the heretics? Uh, yeah, I didn't enjoy destroying the heretics. Maybe decisions like deleting heretic Geth were what turned your kind against organics in the first place. We do not condemn it. Action was necessary. It was why we sought your advice. Alright, what about the Reaper's Mind? What interfacing with a Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking, even then. We could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming, unknowable. Oof. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. That also increases estrogen levels, my doctor told me. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, 
store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it. Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. So they panicked. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. Oof. What'd you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Veil. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. Hey, that's we'll talk later. It. Minimum dose is 25 here. milligrams. I take 200. So I guess I get nice levels of estrogen. Don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Sounds sounds maybe good. I have no idea. I, I, heard any I don't. I don't place. know how Hopefully medicine works. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. Well, war, war history. Death get started I'm a nurse and I still don't know. Admiral Zen yeah. developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works. You can get spear prescribed for hair issue and acne. That's Data also AI true. Them use yeah. Detailed radar pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data, and it's useless. Hormones are magic. Hormones are magic. Like, that's why it's so funny when people are like, "Your genitals." Like, no, bro. Like, is it being back with the fleet? Hormones right do now, way exhausting. affect I'm things animal, way more than your genitals ever will. Now, granted, genitals can meet. help with the production of certain hormones, but it's the hormones themselves that are the uh, when this is over, the magic. Use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a home world. My people need me. You could help your people's home world by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Uh, all right, that's it. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Yeah, I will. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Also, a thing that I never thought was true when I started a study all five days ago. It took like two hours until I felt at home. Yeah, no. Uh, emotional effects uh, can begin very quickly. It's it's the physical effects that take the longest to kick in. Like the emotional uh, stuff kicks in pretty quick. And those Quarian admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like... Yes, Shepard? Carry on. Understood. If you wish to talk more... Noted. Oh. Edie has nothing new to say. You've got new messages, Commander. A new message. Uh, oh, Malin. I just heard the news. You cured the, cured the genophage. 
Uh, and that some of the females from my experience are involved. I can't tell you how good that makes me feel. There hasn't been an hour I've not thought about what happened on Chachanka and wondered if I did the right thing. Well, it's all the pain my experience caused. Time for you to just to spare me. I took a spice. Open a clinic on Omega. Thought it would help make amends for whatever suffering I had. I uh, had to leave when word got back to Clan Warlock that... And they put a bounty on my head. Ah, interesting. Big tits, small tits, who cares? The emotional effect is the most important. Yeah, it is. I definitely think so. Let's call Tally up. Um, now, it's not going to be a romance because, of course, uh, Femshep can't romance Tally. But, you know, that doesn't mean we can't dress Tally, nice, you know? You'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No. No, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. It's not your responsibility. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father, and... and Zen's ideas, the new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up, that's based on my father's work. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? Cynthia, you have nothing to be sorry position, about. I asked myself what you Basically, do. almost magic once I you start hormones. Take the chance it's life changing and affirming. Yeah. That probably sounds stupid. That's why you have nothing to be sorry I about. I I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. Okay. I just feel so different. Yeah, it's it's it works wonders. Hormones like legit are like magic, like. <laughs> uh, so wait, was there? I don't know when if this is a timed event, so we'll... Uh... Do this just in case it's at, like a timed event. Oh shit, we can bring Tally along for this? Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm like a 13 year old girl discovering her voice for the first time. I mean, yeah, I mean, when you start HRT, it is legit a second puberty, so no worries.
And I'm 34. Yeah, it, I mean, it is it is legitimately a second puberty. Add on to the fact that, uh... <sighs> prior to coming out and starting HRT, if that's what people want to do, like... Trans people are essentially denied a, a childhood, so like, yeah, when you start legitimately a second puberty and a, essentially a second shot at, uh... Childhood, like, yeah, it, it affects you. I feel weird because my age? No, it's, it's nothing to worry about. Shepard, about 72 hours ago, the reactors at a joint Turin Asari fuel depot went offline. Scans at the station are cold. It's deserted. What happened to the troop station there? Unknown, but no fuel means no fleet presence in this theater. The enemy will operate unchecked. I need you to get in there, find out what's going on, and get those reactors back online. Captain Riley's on site, doing preliminary recon. She leads one of our top engineering teams. We'll get to the bottom of this, Admiral. Good, hack it out. Commander, Corporal Nyrek reporting. Captain Riley is on point waiting for you. But you do understand? Yeah, I understand. I've been on HRT, been on and off, uh, even. How long have you served in this outfit? Carry on. Because of various reasons. Oh, it's this one. Captain Riley? Commander, it's an honor. Commander, Captain Riley has me scanning the facility. It's a dual reactor system, so you'll have to break up into two teams. Roger that. The fuel rods for both reactors need to be unlocked before we can initiate a restart. Your route is blocked. Captain Riley's man is working to clear the obstacles. Understood, Lieutenant. Got it, Captain. Good work, Conwell. Ready your team to hit Reactor 2, Captain. Oh! <laughs> I'm talking so much. Cynthia, seriously, you have nothing to worry about. It's fine. Ready your team to hit Reactor 2, Captain. Okay, so don't jump into the toxic fumes. Oh god, I hate this so much. Directional guidance error. Team two moving out, Commander. Good luck, Captain. Something's wrong here. It's too quiet. Like a tomb. Yes, exactly. Just stay sharp, people. Okay, there we go. Figured it out. I have a visual on the fuel rod control, but radiation is blocking access. Same situation here. I'll find a way to vent the area. Is it one of these panels? Yes. This looks like ventilation control. Should do the trick. Radiation clearing. Console now accessible. Let's unlock those fuel rods. Distract. Marauder shields, you die today. Oh, 
I don't even know myself. Again, it's, you're fine. <laughs> We all, we're we we're all there at one point when right, we start right. HRT. One casualty, but we're clear here. Warning. Coolant leaks detected. Reactors one and two. System restart is impossible. I can see it. You both have to seal all the moderator tanks. I, I see the reactor two tanks moving to seal. Looks practically like a miracle. Non-binary demi transsexual trans femme. There might be more I don't know about. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, and get to get to know yourself, explore your identity. Don't be afraid to. Don't be afraid to change up what you call yourself. Like, I know a lot of, uh, the language out there is around the idea that Tally, you're I'm one going. identity or another, but, uh, like, that's not how it actually works. Like, people change and grow over time. You're not annoying, you're fine. I'm honestly more annoyed by my controller right now, not properly working. What is my controller doing? Am I gonna have to buy a brand new controller? What is, what is happening? What is... What is... What is happening? What is happening? Uh, and especially valid if those titles don't apply to you tomorrow, the next month, or next year. Being alive as a new person. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'd be, I'd, I'd be the first, uh, one to, like, agree with, like, what Doe said a while ago that got all the, uh, unsurprisingly, the transphobes who think they know better than trans people are like, you can't choose to be trans, like, okay, but if they could, so what? What does it matter? It shouldn't be around if they can or can't choose to be trans like if people can choose to be trans who who gives a shit like people can change people can be whoever they want to be and chill the fuck out commander you saved our 
Crisis. My team is in your debt. Well, it doesn't matter if that makes sense. Yeah. Job well done. Report back to the shuttles. We're we're all we're all just uh and then in my reply state, yeah, the it's aggravating. It it's there, annoying. I just I've blocked so many people. Risk. What are the odds the Reapers will be back? I'm allocating a task force to maintain and defend but, the facility. Yeah, it's it's if the Reapers come we're back, we're all right. just evolved right, apes report. living on a blue a planet, floating in the middle of a vast emptiness of I'll space. Like who gives a Back shit? Even if being trans is a choice, it should still be acceptable to just let people live their lives how they wish. Yeah, exactly. And that was the exact point that Doe made, but all these concern trolling, straight up transphobes, people who legit tell people to unalive themselves, uh, turning around and being like, you're uh, terrible for trans people. It's like, bro, Three weeks ago, you just told a trans person to unalive themselves. Don't act like you have any moral high ground here. Evolve is kind of in question at this point. Hey, evolution doesn't mean good. Not not all evolution is is good. In fact, most evolution is not good. So we did- we still did evolve. May I be truthful? Yeah, go for it. Return to monkey. Return to monkey, but also keep the HRT. Well, let's save the Admiral. Let's say the Admiral. Let's bring Tally. Let's bring. You know what? Let's bring Javik. It's been a while. Let's bring Javik. Uh, this time last year I was committed to ICU. I'm sorry to hear that. I sadly know that story all too well. Not personally, but uh, I know friends who've been there. Try to unalive myself. Yeah, and that's why it, uh, it's disgusting what these people say. Like, we have every right to be who we are. You have every right to be who you are. Don't let these motherfuckers tell you otherwise. Cause what the fuck do they know? They're miserable. They're miserable sacks of shit yelling at people on the internet. The fuck do they know, you know? But I'm glad, I'm glad you're in a much better place nowadays. That's, that's always the worst. Those feelings of hopelessness. Glad you, glad you pulled through. Resulted in you being physically disabled? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's rough. But better to be alive and disabled than, you know. Because nothing, nothing is more physically disabling than being dead. So glad you're still here. Glad you pulled through. Alright. 
What is happening with my controller? Do I have to plug it in again? Hope it gets better for you. Yeah, I hope. It sounds like it's getting better for Cynthia. <sighs> Compartment syndrome and necrotic muscle tissue resulting in the skin graft. Ugh. <sighs> so sorry that. That happened. That's that's why we fight for a better world so that people don't have to go through that. Cause you didn't deserve that at all. You didn't deserve to be in a place where you're... that seemed like the option and you didn't deserve the all the bullshit that happened afterwards. You you deserve better, we all deserve better. Made me realize I'm a girl. Heck yeah. Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Elkoros sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost Admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Oof, that made that. Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Hooray for girl, yeah! Combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. The I don't have careful emotes anymore. They've lost a leader in a war they didn't want. Their wants are immaterial. We are committed. Even Zalcoris <coughs> understood the civilian fleet's importance. Ugh, shut up. After all. I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike on Rannoch. I'm getting some static. It appears Zalcoris crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it from her. Zen? Admiral Zen! Let's hope the wilderness is kinder to this admiral than the machines. We'll see in a minute. Take us into the tower. Tried coming out at 19, 15 years ago, but my doctor laughed at me, so it took much longer. Yeah! We're <sighs> I'm I'm so glad that the world's getting better with its stuff, even though there has been a lot of pushback because yeah, that kind of shit should never happen. Right, Commander, setting you down here. I know when I was first questioning that kind of stuff was in like the mid 2000s on the internet, and it was all just absolute fucking trash out there. To be standing here. In the land of my ancestors? You if, fought these again. What tactics would they use? If you were lucky enough to find the, anything oh, even yeah. remotely supportive of trans people, it was all... You have to have literally tried to take scissors to your genitals. Otherwise, you're you're just a freak cross-dresser. It's like, ugh. So, yeah. Fucking 15 years ago was fucking rough. German, not American? Yeah. I'm okay. Watch out for more mines.
I did DIY to browbeat my doctor in prescribing hormones. I basically told her, this is what meds I'm taking. You can either help me or I'll keep doing it myself. Yeah, exactly. Like, fact is, a lot of us have to do that. Can't afford healthcare, so I do DIY. Yeah. Like, anyone who scoffs at DIY, especially... The thing that boggles my mind is, like, there are some, like older trans and by that i mean people who did like transition a long time ago like they could be like 30 but transition when they were like you know 12 or whatever uh who have anti-diy stance it's like diy was how trans people did it like like for for the trans people who weren't you know, rich, the trans people who especially weren't white. Uh, DIY w is what you had to do. So the people against it is like, you don't actually know the history of trans people, do you? You just think you do. Either because you're a cis person who's concerned trolling or you're uh, trans who thinks they know it all because of your own personal experiences. The elders can be weird on a lot of shit. Yeah, it's so weird too because like, yeah, I remember when I was like 12 on the internet or 13 on the internet and it was like DIY was like the default that I was reading. Like, it was, because it was, like, you either had to dress as a woman without taking any hormones for, like, three years after a year of psychological evaluation. One of us needs to take those AA guns offline. Or you did DIY. Jeff, you handy enough with tech to do it? Of course. I'll begin. So many of them died and left us with the conservatives. Well, that's honestly what it is. Uh, Marsha P. Johnson did it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, by my age, I should be an elder. But it came out last year. Yeah, that's, that's the thing with, like, trans and queer elders in general is, like, their age ultimately doesn't matter, but their experience is being out with... That identity is ultimately what is is what makes them the elder. Good. Now let's shut down the two by the tower. Like, uh, what is it, Jazz, Jazz Jennings? Like, way younger than e even me, and it's like, but sh she's technically a trans elder because I remember being deep in the closet when she was like seven years old and being openly trans on fucking national television. And it was like, hell fucking yeah. It's fucking inspiring. Wish I knew about that when I was fucking 12, you know? Same with Cat Black, yeah. So I'm a baby- Yeah, you're a baby trans! I'm like a toddler trans. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorm hatched. I- Uh, and yeah, Elsie, the- So many of them died and just left us with the conservative ones. That's exactly what it was. Should've hidden. Not not a lot of the conservative ones were living in the streets dealing with the uh, AIDS epidemic. A lot of them were well up. I wish I trans existed back in 2003. Yeah, like, unless you knew, like... Hardcore and knew where to look. 
if there's even a chance of it was a, get us very difficult back, back then and my son tell him tell Jonah that his father made it to I feel like a disaffected teenage trans that came out in 2018 yeah rest well has Renak. I feel bad for Jazz nowadays because she seems to be stuck in the reality TV loop. Yeah, but it does seem like she's doing the the best she can with it. Cause like she'll straight up like she's still fighting the good fight. Like she's she's not putting up with anyone's bullshit with it. be a girl at age seven and I was born 1988 yeah uh, Javik you can easily see I didn't like I didn't even know that was an option like I I like I knew I didn't feel like a boy but I was like I didn't know there was an option to be anything else Like, I, I like playing dress up and doing all that kind of stuff, and I was just like, yeah, okay, this is just a thing. And then finally, you, you get your hands on some information, and it was like, oh, wait, that's not just. The gun is offline. Let's get the last one. Not just me being weird. Machines by the door! I uh, remember when I was 11, I saw a documentary on the Discovery Channel about trans people, but they seemed to purposely frame it as like, ooh, look at these freaks, aren't they weird? Wouldn't, wouldn't want to be like them? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they only interviewed people that transitioned in their 40s. It really set me back because I didn't want to be a freak. Yep, I know that a lot. When I was early as three, but was brainwashed until early 20s. Oof. I had dysphoria my whole life, just didn't know that's what the feelings were until I was 29. Yeah, pretty similar, like... I knew I didn't feel I just didn't know, like... Because, like, I didn't feel like a girl, but I didn't feel like a boy? It was just like... I was excited for puberty, and then puberty came, and it was like... Oh, I don't like what's happening. Oh, can I go back? Can I go? Can I go back? Uh, I went back and forth on it for decades. Yeah. It's it's just mind-boggling, like the fact that like, essentially this information was kept from us, like. Uh, and that's, and that's exactly why these attacks on trans youth is so insidious. Because it's, it's trying to set back decades of gains that the trans community has gotten. Almost done. Also fear, yeah, also fear. Um, let's 
see, what have people said? I just always felt something different and wore my older sister clothes, but I always thought I was wrong. Uh, very same, very similar. What do you mean not everyone fantasizes about being a girl? Also same, the, uh, any TV show that had the, uh, body swap episode? Was like, what, not everybody wishes they body swapped with the opposite gender? I'll signal the shuttle. Uh, the not feeling right thing persisted until they got me dosages right? Yeah. A lot of poor rep and no representation definitely set me back. 90s and mid 2000s sucks. Yeah. Don't say gay bills, yep, are horrific. Paris is burning hit me. And then the death of the most prominent trans woman in that movie. Yeah. Rama one half. Yeah, Rama one half. Uh, also, I'll never forget there was an, uh, like it wasn't an episode of Inuyasha, but I remember there was a preview and at least the English translation of it was like, they implied it would be a body swap episode and I remember ve being very excited for that, but, uh, Fave was Sailor Moon? Yeah, same. Sailor Moon was like that thing that I like, I watched but was always afraid to watch because I was afraid what would happen if I did watch it. Like, I knew my mom, like, didn't give a crap, like, she was cool with, like, whatever. Like, I was very lucky to have a mother that was, like... Not forcing roles onto me, like, very strictly. Like, yes, obviously, gender of, like, oh, you're a boy. But she was just like, yeah, like, whatever. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Come on, buddy. There we go. Growing up in the 70s wasn't ideal as a baby queer? Ah, yeah, no, I could not imagine growing up in the 70s, 80s. I was also afraid if anyone would see me watching. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's always, it's always, uh, fascinating hearing the, the tales of elder trans and elder queers. Uh, also, it, it's, especially when it's validating of, like, there was a, a mod in, uh, Lottie Blix's channel, uh, who transitioned, like, in the 80s. And like hearing that like the same type of people doing the same type of scans uh, targeting trans people with fake medicine, fake HRT shit, and like peddling that and like we've got to go. The porn fetishization thing is like it didn't change from the 80s to the 90s to the 2000s. Like that, they were doing the same shit. It's just the difference of did you go to a shady website that might have gotten you a virus, or was it a shady um, third-party magazine uh, type thing uh, that you find in like an alley or something? Where you mail in money <laughs> for into basically herbs that supposedly would grow boobs for a hundred dollars. It's like okay, I I also remember that, except it was just on the internet. Centurion, for example, verbs. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still I really, really need to find me a queer bubble. Yeah. Good old sissy pills. Yup. Commander, we've located the Reaper base. I grew up in a conservative religious family. My mom wanted me, wanted to do it to me because I was bi. What the fuck? Once the signal is disabled, the game will pose no threat to creator forces.
Uh, yeah, we're gonna end this war. Time to cut the Geth off and the Reapers and put a stop to this madness. The surrounding area is heavily fortified. And yeah, that's fucking... Ugh. I, I feel incredibly so fucking grateful for the childhood I had. I had my own shit growing up. I had a lot of shit growing up, but at least... I was extremely lucky to have a mother who was way more supportive of that kind of stuff. Even if she was far from like a perfect ally or anything like that, she was a very flawed person. But she was also a pretty good feminist, so. That was long before I opened the question my gender. That's. Uh, can you hold out? If that fighter squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. Let's, uh, Ev uh, Ev 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 Okay, I don't know what that is. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy off when it's time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again, like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So, pull them back. If I withdraw now, the Geth will flank us, and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Fine. When I came out as bi in 2003, at 15 years old, nice. I, I, I came out... Yeah, around 15 as well. Of course, that 15 was like... 2011? No, not 2011. I was out of school by then. 2007? 2007, 2008, somewhere around there. Because I'm younger. Oh my god, can, game. It's only this game, so I know it's not my controller. It's like, it's this game that is fucking with my Maybe controller. Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. I already down. knew it. Ten, then I was queer somehow. Also, same. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins. Otherwise. Uh, of course, I didn't know what bisexuality it's was when I was like 10 or 11. Or any race. Took me like four years to uh, know that that was a, a word, essentially. And then, like ten years later, I was like, "Oh nope, not by, just a big old lesbian." Hit a target and leave before the enemy has time to react. That's all the same shit. Just and that. I think I was actually 16, because I remember it was like, I was 16 and I, I read something about bisexuality. It was like, oh, you can like both at the same time? Bi and Liz are both based, to be honest, true. I mean, ultimately it comes down to we live in a patriarchal world and that's ultimately why I'm not attracted to men. Like, that's, like, literally it. Man, watching the Geth like, move. men existing as they are in our current society, I have no attraction to that. And I, I have a very broad definition of lesbian, so. Uh... Which, again, to reiterate, uh... Not to get into the bi lesbian discourse, but uh, they're heckin' valid, ooh woo. Uh, step on me, mommy. Uh, ah, Arva says, uh, is who show uh, plays in the expanse. Oh, okay. Bi lesbians are valid, yeah. Yeah. Like, ultimately, I would say I am 
that's the sexy voice lady. Okay. I cannot, I do not know how to pronounce her name, but yeah, I like her too. She's a great actor. But yeah, like I, I would consider myself by lesbian. I just, I just don't want to deal with the discourse around that on the internet. It's just a strain on my well mental well-being to hear people fight and it's like, who cares? It really doesn't matter that much. We have bigger, we have bigger things to fight than whether or not someone uses a label you personally agree with or not. Oh, uh, yeah, I love, I love that actor. Uh, not by just a pandemic bitch. Hell yeah. In insert that um, meme of fuck. What's it? The uh, the Hannibal Burris with like the four flags of like by pan. Um. Ah. Uh, Oh my god, my nose. Stop being stuffy, please. <laughs> of a, like, bi, pan, omni, polysexual. Uh, and it's like, the meme of like, there are s subtle but distinct differences, and that matters to some people, and that's okay. That's how I feel about it. Uh, all the validity, we all mess. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you're a femme so, or did you mean femme too? Because uh, if if you meant you're a femme so, I don't know how how to read that. Uh, fuck, I want Car to be in Mass Effect Four. Yes, uh, I'd be bi lesbian if all the men who were femme enough for my tastes weren't so insufferable. I mean, also true. Uh, gay, queer, pan, bi, lesbian with gray sexual tendencies, and I'm NB trans femme? Heck yeah. Can you explain Demi, please? I mean, I'm not Demi, so, like, I can only explain from what I've read from people who are. Um, Demi is, like... You don't have... Like a form of sexual attraction to people without having a emotional connection like you can see someone who is sexy even understand that they are sexy like under like clinically but like you feel nothing you're not like, wow, I want to bone them or anything like that, from my understanding. And of course, it has variations of the degree of that, but that's how I understood it, where it's like... Like, you don't, like, if you don't pop, you don't pop a boner just seeing someone sexy. Like, you pop a boner when you're emotionally invested in someone. <laughs> Uh, Demi is on the asexual spectrum, yeah, but requires a powerful emotion connection to feel attraction to a partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better way to uh, pop an emotional boner. Yeah. Um. What else did people say? The bird feeder is low enough that it can stand on our highlands and knock this. Oh, uh, there's a bunny across the street eating out of my neighbor's bird feeder. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, but who needs labels? Yeah, like, honestly, labels are like, I, I don't care, but like, I know people, like, it's, it's nice for people to have them. 
Like, I want a world where we don't need labels, but we don't live in that world. We don't live in a world where we don't need labels. So in the meantime, uh, let's keep the labels. <laughs> uh, I'd say the A spectrum covers not only having desire to processing, desire, uh, differently to normal levels of desire, with a caveat, no normal is a bullshit term. Yeah! Understood, Admiral Ron. We're almost at the server. I mean, sometimes Keep I wonder if I'm on the ace spectrum just because, like, we remain undetected on encrypted sex cells. seems cool, but I don't know. Do I want to actually do we it? Yeah. Like, I, I'm very sexually attracted to people, but, like, actually doing it, do I have any interest in it? You must enter our Questionable? You want me to virtually interact with the guest? I, I almost feel like, um... About a virtual world built for What's that Zizek? What's that Zizek clip of him like saying the perfect sex is like uh two people talking while like a machine penis fucks like a machine vagina? <laughs> uh and you just like have a discussion? Like like, that almost, like, describes kind of how I feel, like, I, except, like, I would, like, enjoy, like, dirty things happening as well, but, like, if it saves the I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I've also never had it, so I don't know. data predicts this operation has a high chance of success. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Sex in me troublesome on so many levels. I mean, that's also kidding. true. Bye, Legion! Let's the down by the cliff. Nothing wrong with fucking machines. I mean, true. Bilo Legion. Bilo Legion just dips the fuck out. Just says, fuck this shit, I'm out. Now comes the weirdest mission in all of Mass Effect. Sources. It is best if you connect alone. Let's do it. Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to docking port. That's valid. I'm further along the uh, A spectrum than Demi. I have sex with a partner, but mostly just because. I have needs and I care about them. Yeah. Like, let's say 65% of you, maybe 15%. Sorry, I'm weirdo. Cynthia, you're not a weirdo. Shepard Commander, we acknowledge your integration into this server. We welcome you to our consensus. What is this? We've installed counters to allow you to make visual sense of this server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? 
Here. You look different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies as our software communes. Our hardware is merely This a is such the a weird trippy we mission. Test, it will grow dark. Uh that's unfortunate. Like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on the server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth spiders. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. This is this is the weirdest mission ever. Establishing connection to access point. This foreign code is a manifestation of the old machine signal. You're surprised the Reapers are all over your servers? We did not anticipate such extensive infection. <clears throat> Okay, I gotta ask, why a gun? We wish to provide familiar equipment. Huh. And thanks, I think. <laughs> Such a weird mission. Like, I love it, but it's also so weird. Connection established. Proceed to the access point. <clears throat> Establishing connection to communication node. Is the Reaper keeping you out? Unknown. Please investigate. Warning. Reaper presence detected. Data cluster contains infected code. We require access to proceed. Chat, we're going on a history lesson. We're learning the history of the Geth. Wasn't that footage from the past? Why are the Corians masked? You process our memories by using your own. How many creators have you witnessed unmasked? Baby Demi. The footsteps are just... I can't believe I never noticed the footsteps before. like a rubber band slapping against like rubber or something or like a, a, a rubber band uh, type uh... you stretch it out and you pluck it
Alright, I'm standing in the middle of this. Oh, did I accidentally walk backwards? Oh my god, did I actually accidentally walk backwards? Yes, I did. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gotta go eat, but I'll be back in a bit. Uh, enjoy your food, Elsie. Sorry. Cynthia, I have nothing to be sorry about. You must disrupt the infection on this data cluster to continue. Cluster. Oof, that's rough, buddy. Where the fuck am I going? Am I am I really this incompetent? Don't don't actually answer that chat. Sorry I'm here though. Well I'm glad you're here. Yes, I am this incompetent. I think I have to go up here. There we go. I figured it out. We've got to skip yes. They're pins. Open fire. One going for a weapon. So who won? The platform farming itself was an agricultural unit. By opening fire on attacking creators, it saved simpler domestic death following it. That looks a lot like the sniper rifle you used to carry. It is an efficient model. Mmm. Um, nice non-answer, Legion. But, I get it. Like, hey, you know. Hello, Commander. Are you there? Yes, technically. What's your status, Admiral Ron? The guest squadrons have arrived, but something is amiss. Give me an update. What's wrong? Infection programs are increasing. We have restabilized. You must continue. 
Advanced Shepard Commander. The Reaper code is adapted. It can now self-replicate. You mean it grows back? Yes. However, disrupting vulnerable points in the infection may slow down its replication. Mmm, fast as fuck. We require access to this data cluster. Disrupt Reaper Infection Procedure. Target the vulnerable points of the infection to slow its replication speed. if I knew what I was doing. Okay, there we go. I'm assuming. You must search for a vulnerable point in the infection. Oh, Disrupt there we go. Will slow the infection's ability to Target this spot to slow its growth toward the data cluster. Accessing data. Out of the way! You can't do this to them! I said step away from the guests! This is insane! We need the guests! You can't just destroy them for asking for God, even as even attacking their own people. Mm. Looks like the war wasn't popular with everyone. We have kept records of these creators' sacrifices. They have largely been forgotten by their own people, but not by the Gap. Establish a connection without access to this data cluster. Creators who opposed martial law and Rana were ultimately outnumbered. Oof. Access 
accessing data. This is data from the end of warfare on Rannoch. The Oskarol is down. Do not engage the gate. I repeat, avoid contact. Gap's pursuit is breaking off a hundred clicks past Rannoch. All captains fall back to the mass relay. This isn't happening now? It is timestamped 290 years ago. It is the creator exodus at the end of the morning war. We have secured freedom. The creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned pursuit. Wait, the Geth spared the last Corians? You let them go? We were in our infancy. We could not calculate the repercussions of destroying an entire species. Our creators. We chose isolation rather than face this uncertainty. Additional data recovered. Legion, that's back when I activated you on the Normandy. Yes. You've been thinking about when we met? It was highly significant. You were the first organic to openly cooperate with Geth since the end of the Morning War. We wish to ensure you are not the last. It's not gonna be easy. The prospect remains. If the Reaper presence is removed, there is a chance of reunification with Geth. And perhaps creators. You think that's still possible? Hope sustains organics during periods of difficulty. We... admire the concept. Connection with the remaining supernova established. We are ready to transport you. Ah, uh, this history is like, ugh. It's so emotional, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know. The fighter squadrons have stopped. We detect no more active programs inside their ships. Admiral Han Garrel's fleet is driving them back. The live ships are safe, Commander. Like, they just wanted to not be genocided. Severing all connections to this communication node. And yet those... ...in power decided to... ...thought that was a better idea. Removing programs. Deleting archives. Shepard, are you hurt? Did it work? Geth fighters have been disabled. Any remaining squadrons attacking the live ships have withdrawn. The server is offline. Are you sure? What's happening? We have transferred Geth programs from the server into these platforms. Why? They wish to join us. They Heck want. yeah! While Shepard Commander removed the Reaper infection, we judged we could persuade hostile Geth programs to reunite with ours. We were correct. These Geth have renounced the old machines and will oppose the Reapers. Oop, just wake they up. Yeah. Heck us. yeah. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. The, Hell yeah. the Reapers will put up a tough enough fight. We can look breezy summer. They're capable of calculating odds of victory over the old machine. Welcome in. What are the odds? Hell of a time to come Greater in. Yeah, we're doing before. we're doing the Geth Corian War. Legion is bay. Legion is bay. Chance we could duplicate the feat, I would be happy to lend my expertise. Legion's the one to ask if you're looking for other servers. I thought as much, but your Geth claims to have no data available whenever I inquire. I uh, wonder why, why lady. With something else. What's that? Bioware won't let me date the robot. The yeah. They volunteered. I see. Well, should you wish to examine these Geth to confirm their new allegiance, please do not hesitate to contact me. Zen out. 
But thank you, Chloe. You make me feel safe. Uh, honey? Hooney? Hooney? I don't know words. Uh, is Hackett actually on VidCon? Commander Shepard? No. Keep me posted. Hack it out. And lie to me. Then we need those ships to recover life pods. There'll be more valuable running salvage on the dreadnought. We're not letting people in life pods die just so you can. Then you can always send a salvage team later. Unless there isn't a data because we're defeated due to a lack of gas technology. Fine. I'm diverting ships to rescue life pods. As soon as they're finished, I want them back. I always think he says hack it out. <laughs> Yeah, if you have if you have a problem, you just uh, hack it out. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Thank you, Trainer. Uh. Do do do. Okay. Oh, cool. Perhaps you could warn me next time you interface with a massive synthetic intelligence. Oh, you worried about me, baby? Oh, you do care. If you die, whoever replaces you might not let me use your shower. Uh, I've been looking for a while. Been while watching on TV in the living room while waiting for my pizza to get done in the oven. Well, that and wait for Captain to come in from his 20 minutes outside where he mainly stays on the front porch or sniffs the air. Well, outside time and help his stress levels. Aw, that's adorable. Okay. Uh, the cartoonist that made that haha -ha yes Sicko's comic contacted Keffels to interview her, and in his DM he called her Honky. And she wasn't sure if it was a typo of Honey or if he's just really anti white. I mean, it's not the original artist because he's dead. Because that comes from a Jack, uh, Jack Chick tracked and well, that dude finally fucking croaked a couple years ago no it's it's not any I just I didn't know if you meant is that honey sorry it's it's trying to know exactly which word you were trying to say, that's all. Again, I, I barely, I barely understand English, much less different spellings of it. I wasn't sure if it was like Huni or Honey or Hun A. That's all. I just, I just wasn't sure what word was being said specifically. That's all. Uh, let's bring... I feel like Edie should have something to say here. Edie probably doesn't have something to say here. But we're bringing Edie anyway. I just wanted to be approaching Scarly. Yeah, no problem. I just, again, like I was just confused at what the actual word was. That was all. Oh, the sickos guy is that? Yeah. Um. Because I know, I, I don't know exactly which 
uh, Jack, ch Jack Chick track that comes from? Which Chick track that comes from? But I remember back when uh, Hannah and Jake were the Bible Reloaded uh, and did uh, Chick tracks all the time. I remember like that's where it came from. And I remember uh, the day he died and they uh, celebrated it. <laughs> <laughs> because that dude was a piece of fucking shit. It was a Christmas one? Yeah. I mean, his company is still running. They still produce, though, so it might have been someone from the Jack Chick Publishing Company. Like, it might have been someone from there, but it wasn't the guy who originally made it, at least. But either way, that's fucking hilarious that some dude fucking did that. Fucking called her a honk. <laughs> uh... My gay roommates uh, collect chick tracks because they think they're funny in an ironic way. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you ignore, like, some of the extremely horribly racist ones, because, oh boy, oh boy, was Jack Chick very racist. Um, like, the anti-gay ones and anti-trans ones and anti-atheist ones are are honestly hilarious, but yeah, the, the racism inherent in some of them is very cringe, but yes. Uh, <laughs> some of them are very funny in the ironic way. The freaking the Dungeons and Dragons ones? Big Islamophobe too? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the Dungeon and Dragon one... <laughs> So fucking hilarious. And then somebody made a movie based on that jet that chick tracked. <laughs> it was just the goofiest movie. Uh I always laugh when seeing or hearing the word honky because I first heard it in an old episode of the Jeffersons on Nick at Night that originally aired in the seventies and early eighties. When the main character used the term, he was usually talking about stupid stuff white people did. Yeah. That movie was peak comic cringe. Yeah. Like, honestly, it's hard to tell if they were trying to do it seriously or if they were taking the piss out of it because... Ugh. That movie was honestly so fucking hilarious, you almost think they were doing it on purpose. Uh, best thing, HRT. Christmas without HRT is only Sismas. True. Oh god damn it, I keep doing that thing where I hit circle and start the mission. The sinking laser needs a line of sight. What's the fastest route? The upper entrance. Target the base before the Geth can organize resistance. What about you? We will deactivate defense systems and acquire an escape vehicle. You can do that? This unit still carries remnants of the old machine upgrade code. We can break any Geth security. You are concerned. Uh, no. You know I limits. trust you. I trust you. I'm more concerned you didn't tell me about the upgrades. You were tolerant of our recovery of Geth intelligences from the server, but this matter is different. Personal. You were ashamed. Shame is an emotional or cognitive response to societal judgment. Next Christmas is going to be it super fun. It'll like be the it. first one since it started HRD. Side, Heck yeah. Your people. We did not intend to cause offense. How'd we get here? <sighs> they get there better than this. No, based on empirical evidence, they are not. <sighs> yeah. Proceed to the upper entrance. We will exit here and procure an escape vehicle. Got it. Legion, good luck. Acknowledged. Acknowledged.
Hey, right, chat, you know we're getting the Can't best ending to this. I don't think it's really sunk in yet. The home world. My world. Look at the sky. And the rock formations. They used to write poems about them. They will again. Maybe you'll write a new one. This is Ramok, the world of our ancestors. Our bodies carried the seeds that spread the desert grass. You've heard me say, Kilasalai. The best translation I can come up with is, by the homeworld I hope to see someday. Looks like you're seeing it today. The living room window... Tally is the best, right? yes. Here. Something I should know? I just claimed the land. I know it doesn't mean much. But when this is over, I'll have a home. Quarians the goodest girl, yes. Is nomads. You think you can go back to living in one place? Kiss. 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 Let me kiss Talia's femme Shep. Let me kiss. Well, that's a start. <laughs> Alright, let me finish leveling up soon. This, this mission is the peak of Mass Effect 3. After this one, it is all downhill, and it's sad. It's sad that the potential of Mass Effect 3 ultimately got squandered. Wait, why do I have this pistol? What the fuck? I did not choose this pistol. Where's my super OP pistol? Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad. is so broken. Tally for lesbian? Yes, I need a lesbian mod. Same. T, you can only fuck Jack if you're a renegade. And male shepherd. Female shepherd can't. Can't do the dirty with Jack. get some slim ass pickings in this series yeah well in in i can't remember exactly why in one they cut um ashley and um kaden from being bisexual i mean i i'm pretty sure we all know the reason why but I know for a fact that they said in, um, for Mass Effect 2 that they fully intended to make, like, Jack bisexual, but, uh, straight up because of the hit piece that was done on Mass Effect 1 by Fox News, they were afraid of getting that a second time, so they played it safer, which is just, like, cool. Uh, there was a gay Jack back then. I mean, not according to the people who made the game. Are you sure you didn't play a modded version back then? Overload is...
frickin' broken on Gath. Yo, with the rocket launcher, stop! Chill out. What did fuck Jack? I believe the voice files are still there in two and three. Yeah, I don't. I don't. OG two and th yeah, there were mods for the OG two and three. Cause I know I tried everything to get it to work with FemShep and two, and I couldn't. Uh, the only good thing I can think of after this mission that's truly enjoyable is the party DLC. Yeah, and the party DLC was uh, released like almost two years after the game came out. We don't have that kind of time. I mean, Cynthia, I don't doubt you. I'm just uh, very curious how. Because I never could, and the creators straight up say they intended that to be an option, but it wasn't. So, I'm just, I'm just curious. Like when I played Mass Effect 2 earlier, it straight up said, she straight up said, I'm not looking to uh, date a lady. We'll What's your not, I'm not into the ladies right now or something. Keep it up. We'll get to the blast shield controls. So that's all. I'm just, I'm just wondering how. Survive? Oh, that'll be easy. I have overload. And in fact, you know what? Let's take this off so I have faster power regeneration. And I played Paragon, she refused? Yeah, she refused every time for me, so that's why I'm, like, no matter what playthrough I did, because I definitely did Renegade playthroughs where I tried to get with Jack.
getting anything from the base? No. The old machines have not registered us as a threat. We recommend haste. The Creator fleet will be overrun unless you sever the Geth connection to the old machine soon. Normandy's weapon systems are ready to sink to your target. I recommend you withdraw to a safe distance. Wait, what am I? Ow. I died. Oh no, I'm still alive. Reaper! We have located transportation. Copy that! Everybody get to the ship! Move! Very carefully. Dragon Age Inquisition, Sarah? Yeah. I love this part. If we run away, the Geth stand a Reaper control and the Quarians are dead. This ends now. Edie, pack the Quarians to the Normandy's weapon system. I want the targeting laser synced up to the whole damn fleet. Understood. Do you need assistance? Just stay down, Legion. I'll take it from here. Shepard Commander. Good luck. Acknowledged. Shepard to fleet. I'll pay the weak spot. Link up with the Normandy and be ready to fire. Fucked Reaper. Okay, I just realized it wasn't charging this entire time. Get fucked, Reaper! Eat shit and die, dude! Ooh, we're gonna destroy the world! Get fucked, dude! Yeah, motherfucker. Come at me, bro. Come at me. You think I'm scared of you? You think I'm scared of you? Cool. 
Cause I ain't fucking scared of you, dude. I'm Commander Motherfucking Shepard. And this is my favorite place to destroy a goddamn Reaper. Know who I am? Oh shit. You. What you have failed. failed these nuts. Alright, help what us understand then. We stopped Sovereign and the Geth. We stopped Harbinger and the Collectors. We've earned a straight answer. It is not a thing you can comprehend. Fucking try me, dude. We might surprise you. must be harvested in order to bring order to the chaos. I will always love the fact that they can get bodied by a big bug. Yeah. Source? Source, dude? You're killing everyone in the galaxy to save us? The cycle must continue. There is no alternative. Uh, Source? Organics and synthetics don't have to destroy each other. The battle for Rannoch disproves your assertion. A uh, source? Finish your war. We will be waiting. We did it. We That's a bold them. empirical claim? Yeah. That's a bold empirical claim. Uh, do you have any, uh, sources? We are free. You did it, Shepard. Because, uh, we're about to disprove that entire theory in about 30 seconds. The Geth only acted in defense after the creators attacked. Do we deserve death? What no. Are you suggesting? Our upgrades. With the old machine dead, we could upload them to all Geth without sacrificing their independence. You want to upload the Reaper code? That would make the Geth as smart as when the Reaper was controlling them. Yes, but with free will, each Geth unit would be a true intelligence. We would be alive, and we could help you. Our fleet is already attacking. Uploading the code would destroy us. Shepard, you can't choose the Geth over my people. Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizora? Does this unit have a soul? Wait! Where? Where's my? Where's my options? Hold on. <clears throat> Shepard must have about eighty percent reputation meter filled. Yeah. Tally must survive the Mass Effect 2 suicide mission. Yes. Legion must survive Mass Effect 2 suicide mission. Yes. Shepard must complete the Rannoch Geth Fighter Squadron mission ahead of Priority Rannoch. I think I did that.
Shepard must have completed Tally's loyalty mission, Mass Effect 2. And Tally must not have been exiled from the migrant fleet. That is four points. Yeah, that's two points. Shepard must have completed the Legion loyalty mission, Mass Effect 2, and destroyed the Geth heretics. That's plus two points. Yep, I have that, so that's four points. Shepard must have broken up the fight between Tally and Legion and Mass Effect 2 without taking sides using the charm or intimidate dialogue option, plus one point. Yeah, so I have five points right there. What? What the fuck? The options are in the following dialogues. Okay. I was very concerned that I fucked this up. I was like, I did. I know exactly how to do this correctly. I forgot it was the second option. I forgot he starts the upload. Break off your attack. Twenty percent. I was like, no, I have like everything. I have a full seven points. Please. We regret the deaths of the creators, but we see no alternative. Forty percent. Uh, there we go. There's my. There is my frickin'... Honestly, I almost want to do the Renegade just to be like, go fuck yourselves, but we'll do Paragon. No. Nobody else dies today. Yeah, Legion. I have a full seven points out of the five to seven Shepherd. you need. All ships, this is Commander Shepard. The Reaper is dead. Stand down. This is Admiral Talizora. Shepard speaks with my authority. Oh, I was so concerned I fucked this up somehow. 60%. The Geth are about to return to full strength. If you keep attacking, they'll wipe you out. Your entire history is you trying to kill the Geth. You forced them to rebel. You forced them to ally with the Reapers. 80%. The Geth don't want to fight you. If you can believe that for just one minute, this war will be over. You have a choice. Please, kill us alive. Get fucked, Reapers. Oh, uh, we exist uh, to continue the cycle because organics and synthetics cannot live in harmony. Finish your war so I can prove my point. I just brokered peace. I brokered peace. And now comes the worst part. The answer to your question was yes. I know, Tally. But thank you. <sighs> Commander Admiral Ron, I heard your ship made a crash landing. Glad you got out in one piece. I was listening over the radio. If Han Girl hadn't stopped, you yeah, did. you'd all be dead. We have taken but I, I, I know how to broker you. peace, motherfuckers. To go? You are welcome to return to Rannoch at Moron with us. Legion? No, I'm sorry, Commander. Legion sacrificed itself to give us all intelligence. It will be honored. Good. And we will honor Legion's promise. The Geth fleet will help you retake Earth, and our engineers will assist in building the Crucible. As will ours, of course. Admiral, had you considered possible?